ESPX Grid View, it's possible to enable and use the built-in links to delete each row. While this is a very useful feature, there may be cases where you would want your users to select and delete multiple rows at once by clicking a button. In this video, you'll learn how to add code to delete selected grid rows at runtime. So let's get started. I'll start with an ASP.NET application that has an ASPX grid view control bound to the department's table of the department's access database. Let's take a look at the ASP.NET code. You can see that I've also specified a delete command for the access data source. Back in the designer, I'll open the grid smart tag and enable the selection checkbox so that multiple rows can be selected at runtime. To access the grid from other controls, I'm going to set its client instance name property. I'll call it dgrid. Next, I drop an ASPX button onto the form. Set its text property to delete selected rows. Now, by default, the button will perform a postback when clicked. Since we don't want the page to be completely refreshed, I'm going to set the auto postback property of the ASPX button control to false. Now we'll handle the button's client-side click event. I open its smart tag and click on the client-side events link. This brings up the client-side events editor. I select the click event and add the following code to the event handler body. The perform callback method is called to send a callback to the server and raise the custom callback event of the ASPX grid view. To perform the deletion, I need to handle the custom callback event. I select the grid control and create the event handler. Here, I create a list and populate it with the key values of the selected rows. For this, I call the getSelectedFieldValues method of the ASPX grid view. Then I delete the selected records. Finally, the DataBind method is called to refresh the grid. And that's it. I run the web application. I'll select a few rows and click on the Delete Selected Rows button. The rows are deleted from the data source and the grid is automatically refreshed. The custom callback event can be used to perform any type of server-side processing. For more information, please refer to the ASPX GridView documentation. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.